No, 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 no. This is not a good time to argue, Master. Might I recommend? Far too many of them for that. Hmm. Oh, yes, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Star Wars Lost Hyperspace podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Isaac Worlder. And man, I'm here and with my friend Matthew Manchester. Watch it, watch everyone. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, Kenobi, some theories about Ken- Obi Wan Kenobi. And man, hello there, everybody. We are going to enter this series. I'm excited to see what Kenobi brings into the table. I'm excited to see what they have. W- what person is a villain? I'm excited for all of that. Matthew, what what's your theories? What do you expect in this show? I expect that that they're definitely going to start in the desert, obviously, because that's not next. Well, for what I'll be expecting, that's not actually stated a fact um it'll be that we would definitely see him leave the the desert it will be I'll be expecting that we will see basically why Owen doesn't like him as what he has said to Luke it would um Looking back at what Obi Wan has said, he had he said he had been doing so so thing mm-hmm. to um obsessing with Luke at the time where okay. like he was watching over, so maybe we'll basically have a more Yeah idea. It would be also nice to see it would be it would be nice to know with uh, how much he's been doing so from after he would, after he takes Luke to his, to on to the um Luke's aunt and uncle mm-hmm. and potentially see what he's been doing up until when he meets Maul in Rebels. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. I'll be interested in seeing. A lot of things also I'll be interested in seeing why I'm just interested in seeing if we're gonna get um, Obi Wan certain things if we're gonna get flashbacks if we're gonna get so many things but um what to how what do you think about the ideas that we've been hearing about Maul returning in the, this series if he is, what would you expect from him? What would I, you expect from Obi Wan? I from Maul. I, what I expect from Maul that he, if he comes back, what I expect of him is that what he's been seeing, he's been out searching for Obi Wan, mm-hmm. and since it's about Obi Wan, we're going to yes, we might want to, we might, we might see him doing other stuff yeah. that's not related to hunting Obi-Wan but I'm, pretty, I'm more guessing that because for two reasons um, Maul's ha- Maul has set his has dedicated his life to hunt Obi Wan and the sees and the TV shows about Obi Wan, we might see basically some of what Maul's doing. Yeah, we do especially see especially with what he's, what yeah. he's said mm-hmm. and done in Solo. Yeah, so that be enough of things. We do see Maul in. Um, we do if we go back to the Clone uh, Rebels, we do see Maul. Going into Rebels, we see him all into Solo. 
more during the time that time he was focusing on creating groups of between episode he yeah he dedicated his life to hunting mall yes that's true but he also dedicated himself his life to stop what was coming to the future and when he found out and then we go into this scene in the desert scene doing Tatooine when he finally finds Obi-Wan and Obi-Wan that's when we lose them all Obi-Wan kills them all at the time and so my my wondering question is I'm wondering if we're gonna get um, a duel before the ending of um, before before Obi Wan, maybe my guess, my what I want is that Obi Wan and Maul have met before, before the last spot they met doing Rebels before he killed Maul. So that's about you. What's your opinion on that? My opinion is he if I'm re, to restate what I'm, what I think I'm hearing you say mm -hmm. that maybe Maul did find Obi Wan before. And he did a duel, but in but that'll be before Rebels, because he's happened to look for Obi Wan again. Mm -hmm. Um, that'll be fascinating. Um, one thing I had considered bef before we just started this podcast mm -hmm. is that in this particular episode, I was we had I seen a photo containing, um. Qui Gon and Obi Wan's arms, Sabine, oh, yeah. uh, Satine in Obi Wan's arms, and then mm. and then we see Maul in Ob in Obi Wan's arms. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I mean, me, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of wondering. There's a theme. Yeah, <laughs> and now I'm wondering who else would die in Obi Wan's arms. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Maul, Maul dies, uh, Qui-Gon died in Obi-Wan's arms, Satine, Darth Maul, and now who else is there going to be? Um, uh, some stranger that Obi-Wan end up liking in Tatooine. And the thing is, I'm wondering if Obi-Wan will f fall in love in Tatooine. Do you think that could be possible? I'm kind of thinking that lots of that would be what you say is clothing from a book maybe there was no. a book that doesn't count anymore that's not that's not that's not um right there maybe there that's was a, this. Uh, the book is a legend now oh yeah i know what you're, you're talking about and the kenobi he, book. and and yeah. obi-wan said no i can't or no yeah i well, i'm looking after a guy a kid yeah he said he had a son because he couldn't he was taking care of Luke at the time, but yeah, that book is now the Ob the Obi Wan the Kenobi book. I think that's what it's called. It's now considered a legend. So it doesn't count anymore. I mean, they create. They, it's possible they could create a new story. They could create. Maybe maybe those are my. This is one of my theories, that Obi Wan had a child. <laughs> Uh, wait, just listen to it before you freak out. Um, okay. Obi Wan has a child, and he takes that child to the planet called um, what was the Leia, Leia's planet? Are you talking about um, Alderaan? Alderaan. Yeah, um, Leia takes Leia. No, <laughs> Obi Wan. I'm sorry, Obi Wan takes. His wife and his son to Alderaan, and then Obi Wan comes back to take care of Luke. He sends them to he sends them to that planet, and then later on, because there has to be a reason why. Uh, there was a reason, but there has to be more important reason why Obi Wan cared about that planet so much. But also, that's just that's just one of the things I was thinking. I'm kind of wondering that maybe they might want to include something associated with the Tussins because he had told Luke mm -hmm. in episode 4 that they were easily spooked and that they are going to return w with greater numbers. Yeah, yeah. And also, um, 
and also well, I will be really interested in seeing the way the way Obi Wan was able to learn the Tuscan languages to communicate with them. That's that'll be but also then, another thing I hope to see in Obi Wan Kenobi. And yeah, the new poster came out, and I'm glad the way. One thing that I love about this new poster that came out, the new Obi Wan Kenobi poster. You will see it. it's a cover of our page. If you look at it, you'll probably find it there. It's like, I feel like they make it, he's dressed more like he's in the desert than more of a professional fancy Jedi. Like, the way they make Jedi is that they make them look like these priests. <laughs> that are, yeah, that, that are, is fascinating. That are dressed, like, perfect and... And uh, I liked how they made him dress more like Owen from the... Also, he's going to be in Desert for his, you know, how also, long? Also, he's in hiding. He doesn't want to be recognized. Mm -hmm. um, another, one, another thing would be... Um, they, uh, if they have Obi-Wan communicate with the Tuscans, I hear said, mm -hmm. they... They did that with with Boba Fett. Yeah, but they could also do it with Maul. Oh no, <laughs> it's not Maul. Sorry, wrong person. They could also do it with Obi Wan. The thing is, Obi Wan, Obi Wan, this Obi Wan Kenobi series, I believe, is gonna be amazing. Obi Wan is my favorite character through the whole Star Wars universe. I always wanted something. To do with Obi Wan. Sadly, they killed his character, so they can't make like a future story later on. But unless Obi Wan, he's a ghost. yeah, unless a ghost they, story. <laughs> unless about I, ghosts. Yeah, unless if they choose to do a ghost story about Obi Wan Kenobi, then yes, that might be possible. Um, yeah, I'm sad that it's not. It's not like it's gonna continue after this series. There's still a couple of years left, but we don't know when the story's going to end mm -hmm. for them to continue the story. So mm -hmm. That's one of the things that um interesting, man. I'm excited to see Hayden Christensen back as Darth Vader. What do you think of the idea of Darth Vader? I think I it's, it's nice. To consider, yes, about the time period, there's uh, there's Darth Vader, and who's wanting to find Obi Wan, in mm -hmm. mainly to hunt him down, possibly. Yeah. But there's also I'll be interested to see how they imply the the fact that more uh, that. Vader said the last time we were together, I was the, you were the master, I was the learner, mm -hmm. now I am the master. Yeah. And he, and Obi-Wan says, I'm the master of stars. Mm -hmm. So it'll be nice to see if they have Vader come. Mm -hmm. It'll be nice to see how they're going to bring him in. Bring him yeah. and how mm -hmm. they're going to if they fight the whole idea of what M Vader said kind of sounded like the last place they met was Vader yeah. was the apprentice yeah. but he yeah. didn't but the, at that time he was in Mustafar mm -hmm. so that'll be interesting I to see how they change up unless they kind of change it up in such a way as like right the day with the dark saber yeah, I believe Deborah Chow, which is the director, Deborah Chow, I believe she's going to have, um, and she directed a few episodes of The Mandalorians in the first season, I think. I believe she has big plans of this. I think she has a way, she will have a way to connect Obi-Wan and uh, Anakin, no, oh, Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. Honestly, I think there's going to be some flashbacks. I I think we might have some flashback here of Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, maybe, of um, 
Anakin and Obi Wan, some flashback. I honestly think we're gonna have a lot of flashback. It, maybe it's gonna be like Boba Fett. They got Bo, um, uh, oh, Boba Fett is in this. Boba Fett is in this bath. What is it called again? Back at uh, I I don't know. It's back at tank or something. Bath. Bath the tank. Bath the tank. Bath the tank. Bath the tank. It's just of a B in this in this with tank. tank. Yeah. So something tank with a B, (laughs) but stuff with a B. Um. But my point is, he gets on it. Um. Maybe Obi Wan will be resting in there for a long time while he's getting these flashbacks, like the book of Boba Fett. That's also one of the things I doubt. But I also think that one of the things I think. As you guys are listening there, I think also is he's going to get into Tatooine. And no, Coruscant, he's going to go back to Coruscant. I, I think there might be more than just protecting Luke here. I think there's probably something. There has to be a reason why I'm making an Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Like, when I imagine an Obi-Wan Kenobi series, is I imagine him sitting on a campfire. I told you this before. Sitting on a campfire... Burning marshmallows, <laughs> burning marshmallows. Like that's what I thought of it. Kenobi. I had, I had like, no idea though. I dreamed of someday being a Kenobi TV show. Like, a few years ago, before even Disney took control of Lucasfilm, I thought, oh, this should make an Obi Wan Kenobi TV show. And so yeah, I do want uh, to point out mm-hmm. for the for two TV shows, they have centered. On Mandalore, the mm-hmm. m- the Mandalorian associated with Mandalore, mm-hmm. and Book of Boba Fett. Yes, they associate with m- with um with m- Camino, but also with be- also yeah, talking about Mandalore. Mandalore. Yeah. And if we has if he if of those who have seen the Clone Wars, m- Obi Wan has said some talked about Mandalore. Mm-hmm. It would be very interesting if for the theme maybe they might want to bring Mandalore in. Oh yeah. Y- also a lot of people have wanted a Kenobi series. To take place before one. Yeah so that's what I was looking forward to. I was looking forward to seeing a live action Satine, a live action uh, Mandalorian, Mandalorians from Mandalore. I was I was looking forward to that until I found out. Ah, oh, dang it! A TV show takes place in a desert, and I'm like, okay. Oh, so lots of you, lots of you guys had been talking about a de- a whole t- TV show cannot happen in the desert. Well, they can't do it that way. They can't do it that way. (laughs) They, they, if you think about it, if you have seen the Book of Prophet, they kind of did that. Only the one, the only episodes associated with the Magdalene was the only time we actually left the planet. The other ones, other times it will be, other times it will be flashbacks. Watching that episode was a little bit of a relief. Watching that episode, like, finally, we're out of the desert. But I was expecting man to not have an, an entire episode about Mandalorian. I was expecting to tell, like, Obi-Wan, for example, Boba Fett left the desert. Because that episode was, like, sand, sand, sand. I mean, if we see some of the arts... Like, we've watched some of the arts from Disney+. Plus. We've seen that it's not all desert-like. We've seen more than just desert. But every time I look at the Kenobi series, I think... No, the Book of Boba Fett series, I think... Hot. Hot. Desert. Let's just get out of the... Let's get something that's more important than the desert. Oh. The Camino, for example. Like, he kept having visions about randomly... Boba Fett was having visions of Kenobi, like no Camino. <laughs> I'm okay. Hoping, yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I was hoping Kenobi may have visions of uh, Mandalore of losing Satine, 
and then him going back there and trying to well we know for sure he can't we know for sure there was a time when Mandalore was destroyed but he has to go there before Mandalore was completely destroyed so so not of the not of the thousand tears so I think that's the if you had noticed a lot of these TV shows uh, the the most least the most recent one mm -hmm. um Book of Pope saying now this one it's also with a famous desert desert planet Tatooine mm -hmm. yep the home planet of Star Wars mm -hmm. would be what I would like to call it the home planet mm -hmm. yeah um that will be it for us today do you have any last things to say um all I have to say is that I look forward towards seeing how they're going to work out how they're going to if they if the directors have naturally have the same type of thoughts that we do mm -hmm. it would be nice to see that yeah well, uh, well all I have to say is I hope this is a this is gonna be a good show and this is gonna be like a show that I'll be looking forward to and um I hope they have his favorite, his famous line, hello there, hello there. That's what I... I don't, I doubt they would <laughs> leave that out. Yeah, I'm doubting they would because everybody loves that part. I love that line when he just like jumps in and he's like, to Grievous, he, he, he's in, on the top, he jumps down and he's just, he looks at him and says, hello there. <laughs> I mean, I hope he does his finger two finger pointing at the I just hope they bring out Deborah Chow which I'm which I'm hoping she's gonna do a great job from what she's done with Mandalore and I'm hoping she brings such a good characters to this character to this character so yeah um thank you for joining us um make sure to subscribe to win chance to win a free t-shirt there's gonna be you have to subscribe and leave a comment so to get a free Lost Hyperspace t-shirt. So, yeah, thank you for joining us. And may the force be with you. May the force be with you. Always. Always.